Hello, this is an update in regards to the Homefront operation called Metaliminal Meteoroid. The objective is to deplete an asteroid. After completion, the participating pilots will each receive a payout. Best payout is 17.1 million isk per pilot with a team of 5 participants in the site. The mined ore itself can be sold to NPCs for about 13 million per site as well which brings the whole operation to almost 100 million isk in total. In this video, we will look at a setup and tactics which allows a team of 6 people to run the site in about 5 minutes time. The fleet will run 5 vexers and a porpoise. Instead of the porpoise, if you want to skip the links, you can use a miasmos to pick up the ore after completion. Here is the vexer fitting used in this video. You will find this fit linked below. Keep in mind, this specific fit is tailored to a pilot that has max tanking skills and supports the Galenti mining sites only. If you want to run any other faction's mining operations, you will need to adapt the tank accordingly. More information about each faction's damage types and e-war for Homefront Metaliminal Meteorite operations can be found in the linked playlist. All right. Goal is to have as much ore mined per minute as possible while being able to tank the site. This fit allows you to run 4 mining lasers which will extract about 300 cubic meters per minute, bringing the overall total to about 800 cubic meters, which includes the output of the 5 Tech 2 mining drones. But the mid slots are making sure the vessel is cap stable and speed up the drones to have less downtime while they are heading back and forth between the rock and your vessel while unloading their cargo. Low slots take care of tanking the incoming damage from the NPCs on grid. As for the rigs, there is an additional tanking support, cargo hold expansion, so you don't run out of space when the drones are depositing ore all at once, and a processor overclocking unit to make the fourth mining laser possible. On arrival at the acceleration gate, the Vexers will have to turn on their tank and make sure to leave warp invulnerability in order to receive the mining command burst from the porpoise, which will speed up the first two cycles for the mining lasers. The Vexers will then immediately enter the site and get their mining lasers started ASAP. The mining drones will then be launched and sent to the rock as well. One Vexer will then jettison an item in order to create a jet can, which can be used by all Vexers to dump their ore. Make sure to move all Vexers into range of the jet can. And now, happy mining! Keep moving the ore out of the Vexers' cargo holds quickly, so they don't run out of space. If you do run out of space, Mining lasers may turn off or drones will become idle. Once the rock is depleted, create a bookmark for the jet can, so the porpoise or miasmos can pick up the ore later. In order for the porpoise to be able to pick up the ore, the site has to despawn first. The miasmos could enter through the gate. One last piece of information. In the video, only three vexers were used. This setup works with a single vexer or up to 5. Keep in mind though, best payout is at 5 participants on grid. If you were to run this with a single vexer, the site would take much longer and the pay would only be 6 million, plus the 13 million worth of ore. Thanks for watching.